welcome back to Tea and a Buddy podcast with me, Dominic. And me, Erica. And today we're going to be talking, since our um, other one about the British grocery stores or the British supermarkets was so popular, we're going to be talking about British homes and the differences there and what you might find in one and what, what the differences are, really. So, yes. yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so <laughs> this is obviously, we're comparing it to American homes, and a, yeah. lot, a lot of these are my personal observations from the British homes that I've been inside. Which is mostly terraced houses. Terraced, semi-detached. Semi-detached, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, I'm. it's not going to be true for every single home, obviously, in Britain, because I was in, the ones I have been in have been mostly older. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. actually, they've been all older. <laughs> I don't think well, I, I mean I've I been mean, in a new build. In the one Britain. in the, the, the Penalt House was built in the very early 1900s. Because um, maybe late 1800s, I think. We know it's that a terraced there, house. We know that there are houses out there in Britain that are that have been newly built, and they have. All the like modern conveniences all and the modern conveniences. and all mod cons. and probably some Americanization about them as well. Oh yeah, yeah. They've got driveways. They've got you know. It's like they're kind of separate. You know, they're all kind of I don't know. You know, just very American yeah. looking. You know, yeah. They've got a laundry room. You know, and all that kind of stuff. Right. Whereas, like an older house wouldn't have that. Uh, yeah, and. I mean, let's be real. Most of the houses in Britain are older houses because, yeah, because I mean, they were built. it's an old country. It's been around. Yeah, I was reading this thing online that said um, somebody somebody had posted it that the flat that they lived in when they were going to university in Britain was built in 1774. So literally older than America. <laughs> Literally older than the United States of America. The United States, yes, yes, yes. Um, so, and obviously the the first thing you would notice when you're looking at houses and homes in Britain is that most of them, or not most, but many of them, especially in the towns and cities, are attached. They're terraced, ter terraced houses. Yeah, they're like row houses. Yeah, you guys call them terraced houses, we call them row houses. Row houses. They're yeah. row, and they're smaller than your average row house here, I think. Because, I mean, when you're thinking of a row house here, is it is it the same sort of size? I don't think I've ever really been in one or seen one over here. I don't here. think I've been in one either. We don't, we don't really have m many of them in Austin. Um, not even in Texas, really. Maybe not. I think maybe you might get some like downtown Dallas or something like that. But yeah, Texas obviously was settled a lot later than the East Coast and New England area. So there was more space to work with and people were spreading, were more spread out over here once yeah. they started traveling and migrating this direction. So, yeah, we don't have too many of them here, but you will find them in Chicago, All the older Boston, kind of cities, yeah. New York City. Yeah, you're definitely going to see them yeah, there. Yeah, because... I don't know, they look about... I mean, I haven't been inside one that I can recall, but they look from the outside about the same size, I would say. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, because, I mean, in Britain, it's not just Wales or, you know, England or Scotland, you know, you, you're going to find them in every city and town. Mm -hmm. It's like a big... Thing. Well, you guys were smushed into a smaller area than the United States or North America as a it's whole. It's a very small island. Yeah, it's a small island. So it's like small island, a lot of people. Of course, you're going to have them all more compacted, you know. And then also, because it was old, because it was, you know, in an older time when all this stuff was built before cars... So it was just like it was easier for people to walk around to town and stuff if if the houses were close to town and the only way to get more houses close to town is to just well, smush yeah, them all together. Smush them all together, yeah. Because I mean, yeah, I mean, if you look at like um, those old like footages of you know those old foot that old footage of like Britain in like the sixties or the forties and the fifties, 
Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's just like an aerial footage and you just see all these row houses going forever and ever and ever. You yeah. Know? I mean, most of them have been knocked down now and replaced by high rise flats mm-hmm. and stuff. But back in those days, it was just row houses after row houses, you know. I mean, they're still very popular in Britain, to, but I think more more now it's kind of like going towards an American kind of yeah. feel, you know, like American style estates. I mean, suburban style where you they know? have where they have room to do that though i mean know? yeah I, well i mean they're not the, the, limited amount of well i mean they're just knocking with. down they're just knocking things down and yeah building over them really yeah so so immediately that's the first thing you notice is that they're all kind of attached they're row houses or they're what in britain you call semi-detached semi-detached which is like a duplex a I duplex think. over yeah. here we call it a duplex yeah um yeah <laughs> um so those are that's the first thing and then you go in you go up to the house there's not a front yard m- most of the time in a, ter- a terrace house in a yeah. terrace house yeah, there's in not a semi-detached yeah you'll probably have like maybe a, a small garden or something yeah and they don't but call a terrace- it a yard they call it a garden, a garden yeah <laughs> i mean on a terraced house you're just gonna have the street as soon as you leave the front door sidewalk you know? yeah sidewalk yeah right I mean, sometimes you might have t- might have a tiny bit of a yard because I have seen that. Oh yeah, yeah. I have seen that. And you might have a tiny bit to a gate, and you might be that. That might be it in the street. It might be Those set are kind back. Of the more fancy ones. More fancy <laughs> ones. I mean, we had what we had was just you know your sta- stone step and boom, you're on the <laughs> pavement. You know. <laughs> yeah. Which and is crazy because what is keeping cars from crashing into these houses? Well, I mean. Our street was quiet. Yeah. Penalt Terrace was very quiet. It was kind of a it was kind of kind of a cul de sac, yeah. Yeah. And it was it was just very quiet and no one really came down there. It was close to like a main road, but it was kind of set off of one, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, and people parked their cars on the pavement sometimes and you know, because it was we were right next to a football stadium which on match day it was like everybody wanted to park there you know yeah the funny thing about about it in britain though is i think even if you're in a more busy area the houses are old so they're built really really well oh yeah as opposed to in america where they're kind of like built extremely well yes yeah in america there can be like what's the phrase you use slap dash Slap dashed up, you Slap know, it's just pop brick and then most of it's like wood. And it's just know? like thrown together really quickly with yeah. kind of cheap materials. And, Cobbled together, yeah. And you can hear outside a lot of the time. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's really windy, you can hear the oh, wind yes. whooshing by or whatever. Like, But in British homes, in the older ones, you can't really hear any of that. Especially with, you guys have um, double pane windows. Double glazing, Double yeah. glazing. I mean, if the wind is really that strong, yeah, sometimes it'll come through the tiny cracks and you can hear it go... Mm. The double yeah. glazing is probably, that's a thing because of the winters, I'm guessing. Yeah. Just I to mean, keep the cold out. Th- that came in in like the early 90s. I remember it coming in and being a big thing. Right. Because I mean, in the 80s, they were like starting it up. In for the rich people, yeah. but then it became more affordable, like the bubble burst. Right. And I remember when we lived in Scotland, I lived in a hotel, so it was like that's that was yeah, it was standalone. You owned the hotel. You we owned just a, lived in Yeah, hotel, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, we we owned the hotel. Like, what's her name? The little the little storybook character, and she lives in the like the Plaza Hotel or something. Oh, I Madeline. I think Madeline? that's her name. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> I yeah, we had like bay windows and they redid them with double glazing and mm-hmm. everyone was raving about double glazing at the time. <laughs> I remember the guy was like, "Oh yeah, you put this up, you're not going to be here the sea because we were right across the road from the shoreline." Yeah, on the Isle of Arran, so it was just that you couldn't hear the sea or anything like that, or the wind, or it's going to keep the co- cold out and the heat in and yeah. you know all that kind of great stuff. And it did, and you know it's now. Like, you know, it's the norm in Britain to have double glazing, you know, so. So let me ask you a question that I saw on this thread that people were talking about. Um, Americans and British people were going, what? Your houses are all smushed together? Like, you don't have spaces in between? What if 
what if one of them catches on fire? Then the whole street's going to go up in flames. I mean, is that true? Well, is there some sort of like preventative measure I that think they've taken? In, I think building? there's. Yeah, I think now they've put in like you know fire retardant materials in between the houses. in between the houses and you know in the walls and stuff. I'm not sure though. I mean, if it's a big enough blaze, then yeah, it could spread through the attic. You know. Yeah. Someone someone answered with a picture of the what was what is it called the fire the, of the great fire of London the yeah great yeah fire yeah of which which yes I mean still haven't really learned from that I mean those houses were made really well but I mean I it's, there was nothing you could there was no avoiding it you there know was what no, I mean well, there was like, no the avoiding houses it houses had to be built all attached like that they had like, to be if you wanted to live anywhere yeah yeah if you wanted to have space to move about if you if you, if you wanted to be able to go anywhere without like having to walk miles and miles you know yeah yeah i mean it just made sense so okay um better move along or yeah. we're gonna <laughs> I mean, we're going we're going like you know like we're going you're, like you're going into the house going into the house yes you get up to the house and it's just first of all there's no mailbox there's no mailbox as you said in a terrace house especially it's just street sidewalk house yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah there's there's no where to put a mailbox like um traditionally in america you would have the mailbox down at the end of the street like so the mailman could just drive yeah. by and open it and put it in or yeah. or walk by or whatever or you could have like what we've got is like a bunch of them all together uh -huh. together which you don't have in britain you have it in the door right so they're all in the door mm -hmm. it's like a little mail slot they just shove it through and you know which i see pros and cons to that yeah i see like that's going to keep your mail really secure because it's inside your house. But also, there's nothing keeping someone from lifting the flap up and, like, looking into your house. Unless you've got a brush. It's like for a... It's basically a draft excluder, basically. So, you know, the wind... So the cold is getting, yeah. yeah. And it just looks like a brush. And, you know, it's like what you call... Brush. People say, oh, it's, the mail is getting brushed as it's coming in, you know. Oh, okay. Because you get shoved through the letterbox, you know. Yeah. And you know that's that's basically so. It what just that's. It's so if you keep... looked in, you couldn't really see through it. You know, yeah. If you tried to look just through, maybe a little bit. And like I said, we didn't have one. So if someone looked through our one, and we had the porch door open, which well, was like por the porch is yeah. the next thing. <laughs> As he's saying in in terraced houses, and many of them, and I, we do have them, particularly in like the northeast, I think, and and the north the northern United States in general, I think. But in Texas, down here where we live, you don't have it in most houses. And it's what you're calling a porch. Is there a technical... It's, it's, is like, that an the technical anti it's like an anti-room kind of thing. Anti-room? Like yeah, a -N -T -I? Like an annex room. A-N-T-E. Oh, I don't yeah, know what I, I mean. think I think, <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm calling it an anti-room. It's like a very small area where you come in and you wipe your feet or you take your shoes off. Right. And there's another door and it we creates kind of... We call that a mud room in America. Like a mud room, yes. Yeah. And it's... Well, it's very tiny though. It's it's very tiny. Yeah. It's, yeah, because in America you, the, mud, you know. the mud rooms would be a little bit bigger. Like you could have maybe even a, a small bench or something to sit down no, to take no, your muddy no, shoes no. off. I mean, we have the whole after that. Yeah. But the, the mud, the mud room, the ante room, the little porch, it'll be usually closed off to the hall mm -hmm. by like a frosted glass door, okay. and then the main door. So you could leave the the front door open and still close yeah. the porch. Door, yes, which yeah. You guys did. We did that. Yeah, it's just that's a bit more light in. Oh, okay. For the for all the. Uh, so that's sort hall. of like the reverse of a screen door. Like, sort well, we of, have yeah. screen doors over here. Yeah, but I mean, you know. We'll have to you... do a separate episode, The American Home. The American Home, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yes, and also the door latches. Oh, yeah. So before you even get into the house, this was yeah. a weird, I found this so weird. Like, the first time we walked every, up to Dominic's house. Every time we'd come in, and I'd shut the door, and she'd go, did you lock it? And it's like, no, it, it just locks automatically. It's like, yeah. as soon as it closes, it's locked. It's like a know? latch, like a like a hotel room door. Like a hotel room door, yeah, you know, it just if goes it's closed, closed. It's, it's a reinforced door, and it had like a little crescent moon of windows at the top of it, I remember it, you know, and it had a knocker on the front. But there's no doorknob. <laughs> there's no doorknob, you just put your key in, and you know, like you do in a hotel room, open it, and 
I think there's I think there's doorknobs in hotel yeah. rooms though. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, but there's no doorknob. And so we walk up and I'm just like, okay, how do we get in this door? Like there's no doorknob, but it just has a little where you put the key and then there's like a, just a little lip that you can kind of hold on to yeah. to push the door open with. It's just so weird, but I guess that's pretty common in Britain. I mean, it's common, yeah, but now nowadays I think people are putting like knobs on their door and all that kind it's of stuff. A knob. It's a knob. <laughs> Yeah, so that was weird. Um, and then you had a problem like when when you moved here with locking the remembering to lock the door when we because would come we in the house. I, well, because I well unlocking it. We'd go upstairs like after a while to bed or something, or or we'd be sitting in the living room for a long time, and and I look over and the door is just unlocked. I'm like, you didn't lock the door when we came in the house, and it's like, oh no, I forgot. And it's just like I think I think some people maybe do that in small towns in America, but in cities, you come in the house, you lock the door behind yeah, you. Yeah, you know, yeah, you don't yeah. leave your front door like unlocked. But but yeah, because he was just used to pulling the door closed and it locked automatically, he was not remembering that over here you have to turn the lock in order for the a little latch system. You could like there was a little button on it that you could like if you turn the little from the inside, if you turn from the inside and you push the button up, the it would lock the the, the latch from going so right. it would be able to you'd be able to push it you know just push it and it's like the term people say oh come round and you know it's like i'm i'm upstairs i'm in the bath you know whatever you know someone calling someone and it's like oh well i haven't got a key it's like oh the door's on the latch oh. so you could just go push it open and come in you know Odd. And yeah. that's what it would be called i mean and that there's a there's a very big con to it i mean and i think it's in paddington too where he's where the the guy, the doctor, I think he is. Mm -hmm. He's always going, oh, don't forget your keys, because he's coming out and he's like, my keys and the door's closing and it closes and that's oh, it. He yeah. can't get back in because it's his quite keys. a heavy door. It's a heavy door, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was always doing that. <laughs> I was going out and it's like you know you're walking down the street and you're like, oh, I forgot my keys, didn't I? But now I can't get you back in. Out no, of the house. No one's in the house, and yeah. you know, have to call someone. Because it's like basically almost yeah. impossible to lock yourself out of the house here. It, it, it well, it is because it locks kind of from the if inside. We, you have to have a key to lock it from the if outside. If we have um, listeners, any in America anywhere that has this type of door, um, do let us know in the comments or tweet us or Facebook us or something. Um, because I'm really curious. I don't know if we. It's possible that we. I mean, this is such a big country that yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's possible there are our homes, older homes here that have the same kind of system. But um, I I don't know anybody without a doorknob. Well, I, do, I don't. <laughs> I mean, now, I mean, me moving back to the UK, it's going to be weird, you know, doing that. <laughs> yeah. Of, doing that kind of stuff. I mean, because you know, I'll just have to get used to it again, you know. But um, yeah, that's because know. like we were out walking the other day, weren't we? And we and we had to stop this guy. Somebody had lost their keys. They were on the sidewalk, and we stopped this guy. And we're like, "Oh, there's some keys up on the sidewalk. Did did you happen to lose your keys?" And he felt his pockets, and he said, "Oh no, I didn't. I didn't bring my keys with me today." He was yeah. out exercising too, and and I. And we he must have not locked his either not locked his door he or he had and someone and, was yeah there. me and Dominic were like what is how's he out without having his keys like you know he just left his house unlocked or someone must be at home you know someone must be at home because yeah. you can't leave your house without your keys really well yeah yeah like, <laughs> and, um okay the hall there's nothing different about the nothing. hall there's nothing really different about the living room the living den. Dining, yeah, none dining of that. room, nothing That's really. That's all pretty much the same. All I think. pretty much the same, yeah. Um, I want to say, which we don't have on this list, but I'm just thinking about windows in general. Windows can be opened in Britain, and things just come in because there's no screens on the windows. There's in no Britain. screens on the windows, no, because I mean, there's not really call for it because there's not too many flying bugs or insects or yeah, anything like that and I think I've unless asked, it gets really warm and i think i've asked this before and i don't know if anybody, which is in the summer and it doesn't get very warm for that big amount of time you know? I, I can't remember what the reply was but if you are listening and you live in america and don't have screens on your windows let me know because maybe that's just a thing that we really have down down south maybe we just have like an extra amount of bugs or something but 
all of well, the houses it's, it's, pretty it's, much have it's screens. For like hot, it's for like hot climates. Yeah. You know, and it gets very hot here, so there's bugs flying out and they want to come in in the cool yeah. thing, so yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, in like when it gets summer in Britain, you know, you're going to get the odd fly coming in or the odd wasp. Another thing about the windows is the way the windows open. That was that's different to me, but I think oh, yeah. I don't think that's just a British thing. I think that's all around Europe. They um, they, they open outwards. Yeah, they open because ours just slide up. Yeah, pretty much all of our windows here just slide up. Slide up, yeah. Yeah, I mean you can have that's how they. Funnily enough, doing that that's how they used to do it in Britain. Yeah, I mean sometimes they'd have like a little catch and you'd be able to open it like a little door, mm-hmm. you know. But not too often, you know. Yeah, I, I imagine. What about downstairs? Is it the same thing in the in the downstairs? Yeah. Uh, what we're what we're talking about stairs and stories. The first, what we in America call. So, if you go to a house in Britain, most of them are going to be two stories because, yeah. again, with the space, there's not enough space to have like a ranch. What we call a ranch style house where it's spread out. They're going to go up. They they go up just to save space. Um, so what we would call the first floor in Britain is the ground floor. And then yeah. what we call the second floor is the, the first, first floor. floor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Which ground floor, flat. Not too flat. confusing. You know, you'd have ground floor, flat. Ground floor, flat. Yeah. And first floor, floor flat. Yeah. And, you know, that second floor, flat, you know. Whatever, I don't think you know. that's a British thing either. I think that's a, the same across Europe. It's it's probably the same across Europe, I yeah. So. Yeah, if we the have ground listeners. ground floor is the ground floor, it's, you know. Yeah, if we have listeners elsewhere in Europe, um, France or Italy or wherever, let us know if, if you call, what you call the, the floor that you walk into from the street. Is that the first floor or is it the ground floor? Or do you have another name for it? <laughs> I mean, really, though, you... I mean, we're talking about this in the basements. They're kind of a rarity only in, like, townhouses. You'd see them in Britain. In a terraced house? Nah. Yeah. They wouldn't have a basement. I mean, we don't even we have We wouldn't even have a huge Texas. attic, you know, either. Yeah. We'd just have a little, like, loft. Like mm-hmm. a sto- storage yeah. loft. Um. So the next thing that's really weird about Britain is just, in general, there's no um, central air conditioning no it's just all radiators and really there's not really ceiling fans so in the summer and it does get hot you just open windows and we just open windows and we get one of those like personal fans and just oscillating fan oscillating fan just <laughs> yeah like, yeah that's it you know? <laughs> that's about i mean really there's no call for it hvac systems because there's nowhere to put them yeah really mm-hmm. i mean you know you I mean, maybe, maybe the um, newer houses will have them. Yeah. But not really, you know, because, I mean, they take up a a hell of a lot of energy. And the heating system, you do sort of have central heat because of the radiators. The radiators will come on, yeah, and they'll fill with hot water and they'll just radiate heat. But sometimes, you know, that's not enough. Yeah. You have to go stand by the radiator or put your hand on the radiator to get warm or whatever. If the house know. is small enough, which the house is in and Britain Sometimes you'll have general. a fire in the fireplace, you know, yeah. if you're lucky enough to do that. You know? Which the houses in Britain in general are smaller than the general American's home. And I'm not talking about these McMansions that, you know, people build. I'm just talking McMansions. About, yeah, I'm just talking about the, just the general American home that most people middle class people live in um it's gonna be it's still gonna be bigger than most yeah, British yeah, people's. yeah. 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 your house was kind of big and, and it had um well I, everybody used to comment on the kitchen yeah i remember everybody because we had the kitchen before we moved in the people who had it before us had built an extension on it mm-hmm. and usually those kitchens are small right. you know but when we got ours, it was like a big, long kitchen type thing, you know, mm-hmm. it had an extension built onto it. So it was. So the kitchen, while you're talking about that, the kitchen's probably the weirdest room in the British home. Well, yeah, because <laughs> well, everybody, everybody freaks out about the washing machine and yeah, stuff. That's in, where you keep the washing machine. Keep the washing machine because, you know, there's no room for. Um... And you see it and you, you, I mean, it looks like a washing machine. It doesn't look any different than our washing machines, but your brain 
wants to believe that it's a dishwasher because it's in the kitchen and it's just like no no and no there's very rarely any dishwashers yeah yeah rarely any dishwashers there's just it's disposal. it's a room thing yeah there's not a garbage disposal no not really no which is weird i don't know what, why i mean i think some some sinks have them but usually not yeah I'm trying to think we didn't obviously we yeah. had a very basic you guys sink have been food composting the... a lot longer in Britain yeah than yeah we had America, the um, little brown box like as a like as a country or as, yeah. a, as a nation you guys have been food composting so maybe that's why they just want you to just do that instead um you guys put tea cozies on your tea kettles Oh, no, on the kettles, on the teapots. On the teapot, okay. Oh, and that's right. that's yeah. usually like that's that's a very old fashioned thing. <laughs> I mean, my grand had one. I had tea cozies. It's like you know you if you're doing like loose leaf tea or you're doing a tea for like a lot of people, you put it in the pot. My grand was like, put it in the pot, put it in the pot the all the time. Pot's more fancy. Pot's like more it. fancy, yeah. and then they put a tea cozy on it to keep it warm. <laughs> and she had this ratty old one that was like blue and white with a. <laughs> You can wear it on your head as a as a hat, really. Yeah. I saw a picture online of a whole family doing that, and they're just cracking up. Yes. It's like, why is that? Why is that hilarious? I mean, yeah, it's kind of like you know, if you see what it, if you if you'll see one when you go to Brit, actually, you know, because I think they still sell them in like Poundland and stuff, you know. <laughs> um, again, in the kitchen with the washing machine there is a washing machine but there's no dryer so a yeah. lot of the time you'll see just clothes laying everywhere i saw oh, some... oh they'll be on the line outside yeah or they'll put, Which we've put on the radiator before, and i'm yeah on the radiator that's what you guys did a lot yeah we put ours on the radiator that makes a little bit more sense because it's like okay also it's going to be warm then <laughs> once, it, yeah, is, yeah, once yeah. it is finally dried in the winter um but the thing outside, I just, I cannot get on the, the, board with that. The, the washing line? Yeah, I mean, yeah. you cleaned it and then you stuck it outside, so then it's going to smell like outside. I mean, it'll be dry, but it's going to smell like outside, like dirt, once you put it on. I mean, I don't, I've never thought, oh, my clothes smell like they've been outside. You know, it's, <laughs> they smell fresh and clean to me, you know. Enough of a enough of a wind anyway. The hot, the hot and cold taps we've talked the about. Separate before. hot and cold taps, yeah, yeah. Which um, I think I don't think your kitchen had that in the kitchen, but it yeah. definitely did in the bathroom. Yeah, no, we did in the kitchen too. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Um, which we don't have over here. Our hot and cold come out of the same spout because the hot water is connected to a boiling. Tank. I read this online. It's connected to a boiler, like a tank. This is so disturbing. And the cold water is connected to the main water supply of the UK or wherever you are. And the hot water is connected to a tank because it's been heated by a boiler, which yeah. is like a which heats all the water in the house. You know, you know, and which also tank. runs through. That's what makes the radiator warm. And that's what makes the right? radiator warm. Yeah. But what I read online is like. You should not drink the water that comes out of the hot water tap because it's just in this tank. Anything can get up in the tank, like a rat, well, yeah, a rat or anything. Dead pigeon, you know. Oh my god, no! Um, and it's like they off. Most people won't get up there and like clean the tank out because why? I well, guess yeah, unless no there's some sort well, of problem. Yeah. I mean, with. With us, I mean... Well, you said to me, why would you drink the water out why of Why would the... you drink water out of the hot well, tap? I don't know. I mean, but why... But I wouldn't think that I couldn't. You know, I I personally wouldn't go, oh, yes, I'll have some hot water now. But but I wouldn't... I also wouldn't think that I couldn't. So, yeah. so I might just do it for whatever odd reason, not realizing the yeah. fact that there could be a dead rat up in the tank up in the attic. It's so I gross mean, and disturbing. The tank has got to be connected to the mains. Because, I mean, we don't refill it every time, you know, we use it. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, it's 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 connected to the mains. It has the main water supply running into it. It's just the tank that gets, it just gets hot. Right, right, right. And then it comes out top. But tapped, still, if it's yeah. sitting there, if you're not using a lot of hot water for some reason, then it can be just sitting there. If, there's, yeah. if there is a dead rat in it, let's but, say. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't want to drink it anyway. I mean, we never, I never did. <laughs> Um, so then talking about, um, separate taps in the bathroom, I was reading this thing that said that, which none of the houses that I've been in in Britain 
were like this. But apparently there are houses. It makes sense to me. Apparently there are houses in Britain that have the toilet in a separate room from the room where the bath and the sink are. Yeah, it's like a half bath kind of thing. Which you know, we, like we, go, we go, oh, it's a half bath. Which we have that here sometimes. And I and, and I we have it downstairs. So yeah, I, it's just like a toilet and a sink. Yeah, no, this said the toilet will be like in its own separate room in a lot of houses. I mean, and the I, sink I, is I, in the bat is in the room with the bathtub. The only which we have that over here. We have yeah. we have that, and I I like that setup actually because someone can be doing their business in the toilet, and then somebody else can be like getting ready at the sink or having a bath or a shower or whatever, and you're not disturbing each other. So I like that setup. I also get it because a lot of the houses are so old in Britain; they were built before the toilets were inside the house. They used to be outside the um in an outhouse. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it makes sense to me that they would have to build a separate area to kind of put it in inside the house. But what I was reading said that in Britain, if you ask to be taken, if you're visiting someone's home, let's say, and their home is set up like that, and you ask to be, can you use the bathroom, that they will take you very literally, and they'll take you to the room where the bath is, rather than, if you ask that question over here, you're going to be... They know you needed the toilet. I mean, yeah, well, yes. Yeah, I mean, usually, usually, I mean, I never really experienced that growing <laughs> up in that house. I've never experienced, like, the toilet being oh, right. separate. I mean, the only time it really kind of was is the outside toilet in in um, my grand's house. Yeah. Which was, like, a hangover from, like, the 40s and yeah. the 50s, you know, when that kind of thing was, like, it's like an outhouse toilet. And, you know, because usually houses never had one inside. Mm-hmm. And then when they did get one, you know, it was like, that was the only one they got, you know. And it wasn't <laughs> like, you know, like two bathrooms or three bathrooms here, you know. Right. And, you know, you'd, you'd have no choice to, like, but to go out there and use the toilet. <laughs> and it would just be the toilet. There would be no sink or anything. It would just be in a cold little outhouse with corrugated iron on the roof. Right. And you know, I remember doing it one time because for the for the novelty. It wasn't for the novelty. He keeps saying that, <laughs> but it really was. I needed to go to the bathroom, and I had to go. And someone was already upstairs. So, and I was at my grand's house, and I was like, so my grand was already in there, and I was like, I need to use it really yeah. badly. And I had to go outside and sit on the cold stone cold it was freezing dead of winter yeah and you know do the business like a toilet when it's outside like that is it like a modern toilet yeah it's 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 a it's a a modern toilet so it's not it's not like a bench with a hole yeah nah like like it's a body no 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 it's it's a actual toilet and but it used to have those like the flush up at the top and but you, you know, pull a string to flush pull a it. string to flush it, yeah. Which brings me to the next thing, which also sounds really in old bathrooms, fashion. yeah. In bathrooms, the light switch being, but well, that's to save like electrocuting yourself. The light switch being on a pull a string yeah. instead of flipping a switch. It's funny because which I didn't see that anywhere, but apparently that's fairly common still. When in I, when Britain. Penalt was like wired, I guess mm-hmm. they wired it kind of wrong because the office had the pull switch. Oh, yeah. And the bathroom had the switch outside for the light. Yeah. And I always thought that was weird, you know, <laughs> because it was like, you know, that it was supposed to be the other way around. Yeah. Um. There's no electrical sockets. No electrical sockets except bathroom. for like a shaver. But that, I mean, that seems like a safety thing. Like, yeah. I, under- I understand, but it's not really that convenient if you're a woman, I guess, who wants to use a hairdryer or a... Well, yeah, you just go and you go and use that in your bedroom, yeah, yeah or whatever, you know, your, yeah. your boudoir. Um, speaking of electrical sockets, though, you guys have a switch on the electrical socket. Yeah, that's that's on again, off. I guess for another safety reason, you know, because yeah. I remember I think you did it actually. You plugged something in and you were like, "Oh, it's not working! It's not working!" Yeah. And I was like, what do you mean it's not working? I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. it must have burned out or something, whatever. You know, it was the hairdryer or something. And I was like, no, you haven't. You just haven't switched it on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, used to, I had to do that a couple of times before you got it, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, so then going to the bedrooms, 
Um, the bedrooms, I think we've mentioned before, don't have closets, really. Yeah, it's just wardrobes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you just use a wardrobe. Wardrobes and, you know. Which is completely insufficient. <laughs> well, it is insufficient because, you know, it takes up another lot of space, especially if it's in, like, a box room. Yeah. Um, what else do we have on this list? Apartments in general. We've talked about terrace houses and semi-detached houses, but we didn't talk about apartments, really. Yeah, they're um, called flats. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to be pretty much the same thing, only they're they're called flats. We call them apartments. They're called flats in Britain. Um, what yeah. else? I mean, garages and garages are pretty rare. Yeah. You, we had one at the back of our property, and that's where usually you'll find them. You yeah, know? you would drive up, like, through an alley. Through an alley. to, to And, you know, usually people didn't put their cars in it. Yeah, know? I was going to say, it was really small. It, it, was was, just, it, it looked like maybe barely enough, big enough to fit a car in. Yeah, I mean, we just had... Um, tools and stuff it was like a tool shed really but usually you wouldn't have a garage if you had like a semi-detached or something like that you know yeah. my brand didn't have one so oh right right you know it was just like a tool shed at the back mm -hmm. you know but again i mean we saw some mo more modern i've seen more modern houses in britain than they do have driveways yeah yeah yeah. And, yeah yeah they might not they might have a driveway they might not have a garage necessarily um oh another thing i saw online which I mean, you guys yeah. didn't have it in your houses, but no. pay-as-you-go meters for oh, the utilities. Flats did have it. My sister lived in several flats that had yeah. that. And you'd have to put, like, 20 quid in, you know, in coins Yeah. to get the meter going again, you know, because the electricity was on it or the gas was on it. And, you know, it would just go out, you yeah. know, like, two. It was like, didn't put any money in the meter, didn't <laughs> it, you know? But it's like an older thing, but it's like, you know, it's also like a newer thing. They, the landlords kept that up, you know. Yeah. But so, you know. I think it's that. sort of efficient. It's I mean, efficient, yeah. It, really, it definitely is efficient. You're definitely keeping yourself more accountable for how much electricity or whatever you're well, using, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. if you're if you're having to pay as you go. Yeah. So, um, okay, I think we've, we've gone over time, so we better we, wrap it up. We've got to, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it anyway, really. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, if you've been in a British house and you can think of anything that we left off the list, um, tweet it to us and let us know because... Cause... Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm sure there's possible that I've left stuff off. Oh, so. we've left several <laughs> stuff off, yeah. Didn't think of... Yeah. Um, but yeah, Facebookers, Instagrammers. All the good all stuff. All the good stuff. You know what to do. You know what to do. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.